Hi there, in this video I'm just going to show you how to make a very simple sales page using WP Flex. So here we are in the default theme, I'm just going to go into the back end now. And in the global tab, most people usually like to have a single column theme. And here you can choose either to have a header displaying or no header. So I'm just going to do it without having a header, so I'm just going to click the radio button there for no and scroll down to save the changes. And this will be like a proper sales letter page where that's all you have is just the sales letter on the front of the page. So I've just saved the pages there and if we go onto our theme and refresh our browser we'll see that we now have a one column theme. So now the theme is just the one single column and there's no header whatsoever. Still got the footer if we want that to put our information in. So if we go back in here and we write a page, we can put our sales letter on the front of our website. Okay, I've just got some text here that I'm just going to paste in um, from my sales letter for a product of mine. I won't bother um, formatting this, just leave it as it is. It will be a little bit messed up because I've copied it direct from a, a page. Now I'm going to not put in the title because I don't want a title to display at the top and I'm just going to press publish and no comments, no pings. and choose the sales page from the page template. So if I just press uh, publish now if I view this page we're going to see that it's not properly formatted because I took it from my own sales page at WP Queen and that was 850 wide and this one's set up for a thousand so I'll just go back in there and alter the width so back into our global tab and instead of the thousand I need to adjust my sales page to what it was when I swiped it from my other letter you probably won't have that problem because um, you're doing it from scratch whereas I was swiping a sales letter from something else that I did. So let's go back to our site and have a look at our letter. And here's our sales page. It's not exactly centered but again that's because I swiped it from my own site and that's how quick and easy it is to set up a sales letter on Flex. The other thing that you want to do is if you're having that as your front page um, you'll need to go into your reading uh, settings and make sure that the front that front page is stuck to the front of your blog. In uh, WordPress 2.7 they seem to have missed this page out but we just want a static front page and we want this one here that was blank because I didn't put a title in and we're just going to save the changes and if we go back now and refresh rather than those posts we've got our sales letter and of course we can customize the footer and if you wanted to of course you can add a header in as well just by going to the design tab then theme options and in your global tab instead of choosing the radio button that says no you choose one that says yes and save the changes. This will just revert to the default now because I haven't uploaded a header graphic. And we'll just refresh our browser. We've refreshed our browser and now we've got the header graphic there which is just the default. If this was your sales page you would load up your sales page header graphic there. Um, and of course you can change the background etc. This is just if you want a really plain look at the front which most people want for their sales pages. Um, personally, I think the ones that are meant to convert better are the ones that don't show a header graphic. Although I like pretty pictures myself, so 
I'm guilty of putting the header graphics on. And let's just refresh. And this is the sort of style sweater that most of the uh, experts recommend where it doesn't have a header graphic, etc. Choice, of course, is yours. And you can also colour in the background and footer graphic, etc. if you want. Well, that's the end of this video. Thank you.